Okay, so this video we're concentrating on our third and final skill, which is called the minimum spanning tree. And I'm just getting a highlighter so that I can highlight the fact that here I have a range of ways of getting between these two points. Now, minimum spanning tree, by definition, is the smallest amount of arcs that will connect all the nodes and that have the smallest total. So if I look at these numbers on here, they might be to do with time taken to travel along it, or it might be to do with distance, or it could be whatever. The minimum would be finding the smallest total. Sometimes they could ask me to find a maximum spanning tree, where I say I wanted to find the the maximum scenic value as one of the exemplar tasks asks you to do. So sometimes you're not finding the smallest number, you're finding the biggest number, which means you just go through the exact same process, but you do the reverse. Instead of and the biggest number and crossing it out, if you're finding the maximum something, you're going to find the smallest number and cross it out. Okay? Now, to be honest, doing this particular network diagram it is going to be quite trivial because if i look at that i want the minimum spanning tree i look at my triangle of one two five one and the biggest number is six so i'm going to cross that out now i look and i've still got another loop i haven't got another triangle i've got another loop and i'm not allowed any loops so i'm looking at two five four sorry two three, four, five, and again, I'm going to find the biggest number, and I'm going to cross it out. So I'm going to cross out eight. Now, at that point, each node is still connected to every other node. I've got six connected to four, with a distance of four. I have four connected to three, with a distance of two. I have three connected to two, with a distance of five. I have five connected to two with a distance of two and i have two connected to one with a distance of five now if i wanted to go the shortest route well the shortest route from one to six means i have to go one five two three four six which might not necessarily have been the shortest direct route but it's the smallest total that connects all the nodes and that's what a minimum spanning tree is as i say if i wanted a maximum spanning tree i would do the opposite Okay, so I've done the skills for networks. Those are the three skills, the minimum spanning tree, the traversability, and the shortest path. Next video, we're going to look at drawing a network diagram so that we can actually then use this because unfortunately, the exam, you're not going to have that. And then I'll work through the exemplar task that's on TKI for Waikato cycle gateways. Okay, so we're nearly there. I'll catch you next time.